Hello everyone. Welcome to Learning Links, a complete cyber security and network security providers. Well, here in this particular video, we'll be discussing about GFI LandGuard, which is one of the leading tool for vulnerability assessment and patch management. So, talking about this tool, it is used by major of the corporates for asset management, vulnerability assessment and also for patch management. So to simplify this training program we have divided the course into several modules. So basically we will be having 12 to 13 modules in this particular training. The very first one is about the introduction where we will be learning like how GFI LandGuard works how the agent and the client works in GFI LandGuard and what all are the basic components required for GFI LandGuard. So these all things we will be dealing in the introductory part. The next is installation of GFI LandGuard. What all are the different scenarios in installing the GFI LandGuard because in GFI LandGuard 12 and 12.1 version we are not using any of such files like MDB or MS Access database. We are just using the SQL server for the database of GFI LandGuard. So there can be two scenarios like your database server can be different and other thing can be different. So we'll be completing all the scenarios like about the installation like how you can deploy your GFI LandGuard in your corporate environment other thing what we'll be discussing is about the firewall and the ports and the modes of deployment in this like your mixed mode relay agent mode and agentless mode so we'll be covering up these things and moreover how you can upgrade your gfi landguard to the latest version these all things will be covered up in the installation part Moving, moving up further we have the achieving result where we'll be looking up to the certain concepts like vulnerability assessment and patch management like how you can uh, use your GFI LandGuard to track your assets to track your nodes present in your network and how you can analyze the softwares and the third party applications which are installed over those nodes or assets. The next thing with what we will be coming up with in this part is your Linux how you can integrate your Linux nodes or the Linux assets and moreover you can even integrate your Mac and Android OS also in GFI LandGuard. The next part which comes up is the managing agents. In managing agents we will be learning about like how you can deploy the agent. If certain deployment fail then how you can rectify those agent. And if certain deployment cannot be happen within your environment so how you can manually deploy the agent. And what all are the properties of agent and what are the relay agents and the normal agents. So these all things we will be dealing with in this particular module. So coming up further we have another module for scanning your network and here we will be discussing about the various profiles for scanning your network and how you can manually scan your network and enable certain audit policies and all and how you can even schedule your scan for time to time scanning in an automated manner and can generate the reports out of that and moreover we will be discussing about your mobile devices and the remote user clients so well in this particular module we will be dealing up with these things now the next thing which comes up is your dashboard so in dashboard we will be learning about what all are the things present in the dashboard how you can easily archive your results from that dashboard and how you can apply certain filters 
and certain grouping and searching policies in your dashboard and how you can uh, overview the entire dashboard and can look out for the general things so we'll be dealing in this the next thing which comes up is the interpretation of the results where we'll be interpreting the manual scan results and different levels of vulnerabilities which have found in our network so based on the different level like high critical or low medium so how these vulnerabilities are calculated what is the back-end phenomena for that and what is the like vulnerability all about so we'll be interpreting those all things in this particular module and how we can club up certain vulnerabilities and how we can put up into certain asset group and just patch them and we can perform the action accordingly so we'll be dealing up in this thing now the next part which comes up is the remediation in remediation we'll be discussing about what all vulnerabilities we have found in our previous module how we can remediate those like suppose if a certain vulnerability is there so how we can patch those vulnerabilities and what all are the profiles we can set it up for automatic remediation and even we can use the manual deployment also so that from a centralized server we'll be just pushing up the updates and it will be like low bandwidth consumption and from a centralized node will be just pushing the updates and the updates are being installed so we'll be seeing those things and what all are the auto remediation messages and all those things will be dealing in this particular module now the next part which comes up is the activity monitoring where we'll be monitoring the present activity and like the scanning activities and all those things so we'll be monitoring certain things like security scans and the software updates which are being downloaded or the software updates which have been failed to deploy it and the remediation jobs will be monitoring in these things the next part which comes up over here is the reporting part so in reporting we'll be dealing with general reports and we'll be discussing about the compliance report basically like certain compliances are there like PCI DSS and all those and health insurance uh, certain compliances are there so basically uh, one of the beauty of this land guard is like there are various report pre-formatted in this and once you need to click and th that will generate the report according to that particular compliance so these all things we'll be seeing and how you can schedule your reporting part that also we'll be seeing up like how you can create the custom reports and even you can just remove the logos and how you can create your customized report as per your company's marketing policies you can just create the report and can publish that so these all things will be dealing in the reporting part coming up further we'll be seeing like how we can customize gfi land guard customization in the sense is like if you are having a previous environment of gfi land guard and due to some reason you want to shift it so how you can uh, put up that old database and how you can fetch the old database queries into your new GFI LandGuard installation and how you can migrate your databases and how you can just pass out the reports and all those things and configuring program updates and limiting database size and all those things we'll be seeing in the customization of the GFI LandGuard and we'll be seeing like how we can delete the old scan results and how we can backup and how we can restore the GFI land guard database now the next part which comes up over here is suppose we want to have a customized profile we don't want that uh, our 
resources should be wasted in scanning so we just want a particular scan let's say port scan or some enumeration scan so even we can customize that using the scanning profile editor for just to enable the vulnerability scan or for a certain vulnerability if you want to perform the scan so for that we can just even make our own scanning profile and can run through the entire network so that that particular scanning profile will only be called up and only that particular vulnerabilities will be targeted so these all things will be dealing with that there are n number of possibilities while covering this scanning profiles like even you can just go for a particular devices based profile particular port based profile only the vulnerability or some specific vulnerability based profile so these all things we will be covering in the scanning profile editor the next part which comes up is like gfi lan guard comes up with certain utilities where it will be having certain predefined utilities such as lookup dns lookup trace root who is an enumeration utilities so these are the basic utilities which is predefined in gfi lan guard so we'll be having a look over that and we'll be using that now the next part which comes up is for the developers or the debuggers so if you are a developer or the debugger or you have certain knowledge about the coding skills so you can even customize and write your own scripts into that and using the vb script and you can even scan for the particular vulnerability and you can customize the scripts and all those things if you don't want to use the predefined options present in the gfi lan guard you want to just customize your own script so even that is the facility provided by gfi lan guard and you can make your own script and start scanning your network so well this was all about the gfi lan guard training which is provided by us so if you have any queries or any doubts you can just follow us on this number we are pleased to help you out and we'll be happy to serve you in a better way thank you thanks for watching and please do subscribe and like for our channel